Hey everybody, uh, Joe Finley here. Uh, we're just about to bring you a bonus episode we decided to record yesterday while we were doing a quick session. We wanted to be able to just chat, just chat about the goings on and things like that. Uh, but we got some news tonight. Uh, as I was getting ready to edit this episode, uh, Chadwick Boseman passed away of colon cancer. He's apparently been fighting for four years and, uh, I don't know, I took it as a real hit. Uh, he's somebody, obviously, we've covered in our uh, MCU commentaries that we've done. Uh, and what's crazy is, last night while we were recording, I mentioned him because uh, I had done a podcast before where I was doing a fantasy casting of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And I actually had picked him to be my Darth Revan. I felt that... He's somebody who can really, I don't know, it's just, wow. He had such a bright future ahead of him. He was 43 years old, which I mean is nothing. It's so bloody young. And to have suffered from that for so long, and then you look back and you remember when people were commenting about seeing him that one time, and he was really skinny, and he had the cane and stuff like that. And then to put it all into perspective, and it's just like, wow. So our condolences and our thoughts go out to uh the family and friends of chadwick boseman uh also to the fans but obviously you know we'll mourn in our own way while everybody else mourns a much more uh significant loss and uh we'll miss you chadwick and uh just don't think that when we're talking about him in this episode that like it was something that had happened after he had passed. It was something that we talked about before he had passed. And it's just like, it blows my mind. So uh, that's it for now. And uh, hope you enjoy a fun show. You're listening to Miscast Commentary. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Miscast Commentary. I'm Joe Finley. I'm Todd Tebow. That's it. The Sailor Murray. Nope, no, not nope. today. I'm You're just nothing. Todd. Todd can't hear anything just right Todd now. Todd Tebow, unhearable. Unhearable. That's it. Just well, talk. I, I can well, hear you. Fuck this I, shit. I, I hear you. It's fine. I'll, I'll fix your thing after. Um, <laughs> coming at you with a, we're just going to call it a mini, mini episode. It's not a coming attractions episode no, because not. there's not a movie next week. That's right. You've already heard an episode this week. This is just a little something. We just this decided we wanted to shoot the shit. A. Some stuff is going to feel. On. I feel like I haven't done a mini so in forever, mm-hmm. and uh, I well, feel like I've been here forever. Yeah. Well, I've got good news for both the people because my mini episodes, I'm not going to lie, are not that interesting. It's me just. <laughs> They're probably awesome. No, it's it's me just putting in for it's me just putting information out and going. Okay, I'm done talking to you and like get it out the door in like five minutes. But right. uh, our last episode was like seven minutes long. But uh, it was. But that's, it was the entire yeah, movie. Yeah. No. Uh, but it was just a matter of without the the bounce off and stuff like that. It's just like ugh, I can't I can't be bothered. But um, <laughs> I can't I can't be bothered like doing this that. podcast. That was my idea. <laughs> um, but the. Uh, yeah, but I have now changed the timing because basically the timing was such that when you went back to work, yep. you were on the weeks, like the, the timing worked out that you couldn't record a coming attractions right. episode because it was, it'd be too far out of date. It was like the we'd, off time. Yeah. It was it totally fucked everything yeah. fucked up. Yeah. We'd have to record it like two weeks in advance, which means we couldn't talk about it. Oh, topical. Lord, it becomes to get yelled thing. at anyways, talking right? during movies about this uh, is not the time. This yeah. is the, eh, they're going to hear this in eight yeah. months from now. And they're like, well, who's Trump? Yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't fucking know. Yeah, you you shouldn't you should not be talking about like Nixon beating Dewey or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Dewey beats Nixon, um, but the uh, but I've now with the schedule with the uh, best of episodes that are happening right now. The uh, co- the outtakes episode just happened, and the how was it? Wonderful. Was it fucking outtakey awesome? It was outtakey awesome. Look at it. The best it is, part. Yeah. The best part is uh, for people who haven't heard it yet. Uh, we actually have the failed Zoom roulette call that Todd and I did. Oh uh, my god! It, that didn't go oh. well. But it's about twenty minutes of us just oh. trying our best <laughs> on Zoom. I love the idea of it. Yeah, I it, love the idea the, of it. The, I think it could really work, and it, it really worked for you it, when you were alone. Yeah. You know why? You know why? Because you needed it. You needed something. <laughs> What? You 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 sent your energy out into the universe and what's her name? What was her name? I, I read the secret. I don't remember her, her name, name but You're I love a piece her. Of shit. <laughs> you are awful. But yes, that girl called in. And it was she Gloria, saved I believe. 
Gloria, Gloria. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, it's probably not Gloria. Yeah, but know. anyways, whoever you were, it just worked out totally. Yeah, no, and it, it just and that was all well and good. And actually, the second time I did, I tried it. John Rich's came on for our first ever prize came winner on he's like i'm blowing it on my phone I'm like john yeah. this is weird like this yeah. is not the time for this this is weird yet very on brand for you <laughs> we're gonna uh, we're gonna keep it on yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna degrade you the whole time continue yeah. but anyways if you haven't heard it it's uh basically us in the times when we haven't started the episode yet? when we were fucking on ourselves I don't know. You're fucking guy. He's probably doing some of his family. Yeah, I was going to say, taking care of his kids like an asshole. Love my kids. What a mm-hmm. dick. Jesus. You know where my All kids right. are? Neither do I. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but the. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but. Don't be. Just, uh. Thank, thank God! Thank you God! My work. Drink. I know. You drink my alcoholic beverage. You're such a dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, well, this is how I keep you sober. This is by jumping on. <laughs> Mission not accomplished, by the way, guys. I get drunk beforehand. <laughs> do you know oh, how? Yeah. Do you know how I know when Todd's when Todd's had a couple? He says "fuck it" more times than any time in the rest of his life. Come on, let's just do one. Fuck it. Fuck it. Come on. Fuck it. I'm like, oh, okay. It's true. it's true. He's like, let's go watch Captain America. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm drinking this my juice box. That's not what we're doing today, Todd. Right? Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck yeah. it. He, he Spartan kicked me out the window for nothing. Uh, well, not nothing, but uh, <laughs> it's it's between us. Uh, but anyways, yeah, there was some stuff worth talking about um, going on. We got the uh, the Batman, Batman trailer, which I thought looked pretty cool. I thought that it looked awesome. It, I, I'm so ready for this Batman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm so re- I loved it. The the scene that I really loved yeah. uh, in the preview was where it looked like Batman was in the precinct, yes, toughing around with the cops. Yeah, because because Matt Reeves is it Matt Reeves? Yes, it's Matt he Reeves. said this is year two. Yeah, this is year two Batman. We don't get the fucking good good. Mm-hmm. I don't want the the the, the origin the, story. The, the origin story. Yeah. I don't think I'm I'm like man. There's a lot of bad guys in this, but I think this is setting up for the future. Yeah. future movies it's mm-hmm. not like he's taking on five guys yeah and that scene and then there was a scene where jesus christ a uh, colin farrell as the penguin yeah holy shit that's transformation eh? and he's like this guy's crazy yeah he's like in, in the preview and, and he's know, not even the main bad guy no 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 he he's already said that he's he's not in a lot yeah i think i think his idea was like he's they're setting up that these exactly. people exist in that's gotham. exactly what i think as well yeah it's almost like that show mm. gotham is that the name of a Gotham? It's, no, it's Got Ham. Oh, Got Ham. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. And it's, it stars John Ham. Nobody did yet. It stars John Ham. Nobody got it. Uh, Nobody even eats ham. Alicia Got. Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Remember remember TNT with Mr. T and like whatever. Oh, and that white broad. And that white Oh broad. my God. <laughs> Could yes. have been anybody. TNT. I think I just convinced myself that it's Kathleen Turner. <laughs> I know it's, it's not. No, but. it's it's the it's the Canadian. Yeah. You're like, hey, we need Kathleen Turner. Hey, what about this Canadian cheap no, one? She looked. We'll she her. looked to me like, if we made Canadian ET, who would play the mom? And it's like her. <laughs> Canadian ET. Oh my god, that's Here, AT, wait, by the way. Second. They made. They, oh, they they made. Punch my tip. A new Canadian, apparently oh. Brooklyn Nine Nine, and they're oh. very upset that it's all been whitewashed. Oh, I a did I didn't you hear this. I didn't hear about that, but I did hear that somebody. I heard another country had made a Brooklyn Nine Nine, and they had the same. Like I yeah. thought it was Italian. I don't know. Maybe they're or talking Fran- Italian, but I'm sure French that, or From what I read, that it was the yeah. Canadian one. Oh, and they were upset because mm-hmm. all the characters were white and well, French. And it's what's crazy. Like that's one thing that Brooklyn Nine Nine doesn't get a. It gets credit for it, but it doesn't get nearly enough credit for how multicultural it is. Like it's got. And who is where? The two highest ranking people on the, in the movie or in the show are black. The main guy is gay, also gay. The next highest ranking person is a Latina woman. One of the best detectives in the agency is a bisexual Latina woman. <laughs> right? And then there's two white dudes and then two other white dudes who yeah. are useless. Yeah, who <laughs> are like, useless. 
Those are the, they love those guys. But I, <laughs> like, no, I know they're fantastic. Did you see? Oh, did you see the episode when they, when it was like their past no. and they were like, oh, it's these two dudes. You don't even like. There's no setup to it. It's just the cold open. And it's these two sexy, like big, muscly dudes, and they kick down the door and they take down the coke dealer, and they're like, just another one for Hitchcock and Scully, and it was kept going to their it was their backstory of them helping this woman who was like went into wit, uh, witness protection for helping them take down that coke dealer and they find out that she's still around and he, she's working as like a manager at the at the place called wing sluts <laughs> and so it's like a hooters yeah it's basically wing yeah, <laughs> it's basically i hope there's men working there as well I I I didn't <laughs> see I didn't see their. Uh, you, I'm a wing slut. Yeah, I'm a total. Yeah. I'm a total wing slut. I, I bet you the kitchen was full of them. I but, have let men yeah. put wings in my bum. Yeah, and women. I'm I've got I'm that's how I pick up my wings. Uh, sometimes <laughs> they're my bum. Sometimes they're too hot. But um, the uh, no, but but the whole idea was so basically everybody's hearing all these stories about how badass these two were when they were in like their heyday like, and. Uh, and then it goes to the very end. So it's like she's been there the whole time and they check in on her. They'd go in and there'd be one extra wing in their bucket if she was OK. And if she wasn't OK, it wouldn't be there. <laughs> so that was just a way. And that was right. just their way. And it was the, they were keeping her safe. So the whole time one they've been doing a good wing thing. In the bucket. But the best part was it then at the very end of it. So like the the cold close, as it were, it's them back in the past. And it's the first time they're checking up on her. And they're like, OK, you got set up here. You're OK. It's like, yeah. They're like, why don't you try a wing? And he's like, I don't know. I feel like this is really going to mess up my metabolism. <laughs> and they're like, oh, one wing. It can't hurt. And he hits it, and you see his eyes light up. And it's like, it's that moment the first time anybody tries drugs in any movie where you hear, <laughs> yeah. do, 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 <laughs> yeah. do. And, and it the was, background turns all yeah. Like, yeah, and yeah. there's there's one scene where somebody um, fires. <laughs> Just try a hot wing. Yeah. There's a scene where somebody fires at them. He's like, he's like, we don't have bulletproof vests. He's like, here, take this. It's just a vat of their wing sauce. <laughs> and he's like, what? He's like, what is this gonna do? And somebody shot him, and it hit the thing, and it didn't go through the <laughs> sauce. And he's like, you eat this? <laughs> it's what a great show. <laughs> I great agree. Show. I have to start watching it now. Mm -hmm. but the Canadians mm -hmm. have racist it up. Yeah, I got, I got to find. I got to wait, wait, wait. So, so the Batman. Mm -hmm. Okay, that scene, yeah, we we went on a trip we, there. We didn't saw we? we see this this image of a uh, Colin Farrell as the Penguin. Yeah, and I'm like, holy shit! I'm like, in my head, I was thinking, he looks awesome, but he doesn't look like the Penguin. Yeah, but I'm thinking of Tim Burton's yeah. mutant Penguin Man. Yeah. When you watch the old Batman, Burgess Meredith is just a dude that goes wah wah. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's yeah. like a Penguin. Yeah. No, that's right. -esque. Yeah. So I, I don't know why. Hopefully, you know, we, we'll see in this movie because usually it's a human guy yeah. with the attributes, I guess, of a penguin. Yeah. Or I is. Guess? Well, I mean, that would have been me in grade eight, would, according why, to that one fucking guy. Why would they call this guy the penguin? Yeah. Something, something will come up. Maybe. Some, I don't know. Uh, they're going to find out his name. Maybe Oswald Toes. Oswald Cobblepot. That's only a name that a penguin would exactly. have. <laughs> or something, right? Maybe, yeah, yeah. It, it, well, so, back in the day, in the, the mm -hmm. old, you know, you just can't get rid of a bomb days. Yeah. You know, it, it was just a guy going, wah, but, you know, we'll see. Uh-huh. And then you were telling me about the Suicide, the suicide squad. squad. I it haven't awesome. seen it yet. I'm it actually awesome. going to look it up right now. And then it looks we'll... totally awesome. Now, is, was it for the movie? I thought it was for the video game. No, no, it's for the movie. Okay. Uh, and apparently, they say you'll never, you'll, you'll never guess the movie. Like you think it's going one way. They say it's like a '70s war movie, but with all these guys. Yeah. Idris Elba's in there. Finally. Uh, John Cena is a character Pete Davidson who I hate his guts because he slept with my girlfriend yes uh, what's her name I'm way too old for Cape. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, Cape Beckinsale. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to ask you. You're way too old. Oh, I'm way too old for her. The oh. Monster Hunter. I love that. But um, She will never hunt my monster. He has truly, yeah, he has truly got a resume. But that... I think it might be rated R. So yeah. I feel like this is going to be. Yeah. Um, well, the last one was rated R. This is going to be. No, no, no. But I mean oh. in the sense of, uh, what's his name directing it? Mm. Uh Gun. Gun. James Gunn. James Gunn 
give him a rated R, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. He's the guy who wrote for Troma. Yeah, no. This oh. is going to be fucking okay. awesome. Let us have a listen and look at, at this trailer because I haven't seen it yet. This isn't even the right. This yes, is Joel is. Kinnaman. No, that's right. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, this is it. Flula Borg. That's crazy. Yeah. Javelin. Oh, Nice, Harley Quinn, oh, Polka Dot. Who the fuck is that? That looks like the suit that the guy who uh, played Arthur in the in the Amazon version of the Tick. Rat Catcher. I don't know. Yeah, you you say these names, I but I have no idea who they are. They're just all Zola. sexy as shit. Who's he playing? Oh, I don't know any of these characters. Oh, there's so King Shark. King Shark. Oh, um, somebody's pissed. I I think because uh, Ron Funches plays him in the uh, in the. Um, Harley Quinn show, mm. Peter Capaldi. Oh, that's fun. These are some like these are some crazy ass characters. I mean, if anybody can handle that, that's uh, it's going to be gun because I mean he did. I like Pete Davidson. He's not playing a character. He's just Pete yeah, Davidson. No, I know. Whatever. It was a joke. Exactly. Let me have it. <laughs> Come on, Nathan Fillion looking like a character that Nathan Fillion would play. There's so he, many of them. He looks like oh Sean Gunn. Of course, of course they found a place for Sean Gunn. Jai Courtney. It's boring. It's so weird that some of them are there and some of them aren't. Cena. Mm-hmm. He's a peacemaker. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at the names. Taika, Taika Waititi. Yep. Steve Agee. Oh, yeah. Of course Steve Agee's in it. All right. We'll bring that out now. Awesome. That Well, that does look pretty... Well, I mean, not that we've seen anything in the movie, it but it's... Show anything, it just showed... Yeah. The characters. Yeah, that was from the DC fandom thing that it just came out. I don't know out. what it was, but um, yeah, yeah. That, I, I saw one which, which was the same thing, but then it had some things with Idris Elba and Sean Gunn, and they were talking yeah. about the movie, and Idris Elba says, you'll never see what's happening. You'll never yeah. guess what's going to happen in this nice. movie. And Sean Gunn also said, don't get attached to anybody. Yeah. There's well, way too many no. characters. Tons of them. I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah. Sh- John Cena is going to die. Yeah. Pete Davidson is going to die. Mm. A bunch of them are going to die. Pete Davidson's going to die in real life. I guarantee you. <laughs> From me. Yeah. Because I'm going to kill him. Yeah. Go no. back to your heroin hope, den, you fucking dirty. I hope he doesn't get, hope he doesn't get uh, fucking murdered now. Because... He's got fucking like, like, yeah. uh, what was his name? He's on every CBC show. He was like, what the fuck is his name? Canada Boy. He was, he hosted hockey for a while. Don Cherry. No. no. What, what's his name? Um, George Strombolopoulos? Yes. <laughs> George Strombolopoulos. Yeah. Pete Davidson yeah. has bored George Strombolopoulos is like, yeah. like under eye. What do you fucking yeah. call it? It's just the bags under his yeah, eyes. Yeah, bags. The there you go. Bags. Bags. He's his fucking five o'clock bag shadow. Yeah. Pete Davidson looks like he woke up like 10 minutes ago yeah. from a heroin den and showed yeah. up on set. Yeah. Whatever, I'm so jealous of him. Whatever works, right? Yeah, that's I'm exactly. so jealous of him. I'm going to watch <laughs> shit plus. I can't hear myself. It's weird. It is weird. I'm sorry. I will get that fixed for you. But for that the, Batman movie. movie looks really good. Yeah. It, 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 it's, <laughs> apparently, it's year two. Yeah. And it looks, I think it looks really I really like that scene, too, when everybody's there. It's like, what are you going to, like, the, all the bad guys are there. And he's like, what are you going to do? And he just takes the one guy and just starts Oh, yeah, just him wailing on him. Like, and it, I love, too, because they were like, this is... This is what's his name? This he's a brooding yeah. Batman. And I was like, wow, what was Batman before? Yeah. Brooding. Yeah. That's uh, what Batman does, is brood. Except uh, it, it, he he failed to brood when it was uh, George Clooney. But yeah. aside from that, I was like, th- th- that's the character. People yeah. are like, this is a broody emo. They're, you know, it fucking mm. pisses me off because they're like, this is an emo yeah. Batman, which is not true because Batman's been emo forever. Yeah. And then like like if like somebody who like takes himself as seriously as like Christian Bale, had he even accidentally smiled in the Batman suit in an outtake, <laughs> he would have like went and like whipped himself like the yeah. albino yeah. in uh, like Da Vinci and Code. And came up in his face and was like, <laughs> Fuck. he smirked a bit in the, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, like that fucking guy in that yeah. Da Vinci movie. Oh, he's, he's yelling oh. at himself like he yelled at that lighting guy. <laughs> McGee, could you get it? That's my favorite part. If you've never heard that, I know this has been a long time since this McGee. came out. When this came out, because he's so, you can't be angry and then say McGee. You can't. It's like, 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 like to like me, the person who made the movie is like, like a Big Mac. Yeah. Hey, McGee. 
Like, come on, like, take yourself that seriously. That lighting tech's a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just hit everything twice. Fire this guy, McG. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was I'm just, like he's so mad, and then like if it was anybody, else, he could have been like Steven. It could have been Steven Spielberg. Steven, get on the. But just yeah. McG, Nick like G. instantly, like if that were me, Did my whole my whole wall said... would come down, and I'd just be like, you know what? I'm sorry. Like, never mind. Maybe he would have said his actual name. But maybe yeah. McG. Just, that is. That's it. That's his real name. Yeah. McG. His parents name. We'll him never McG. know. We'll never know. It's like. uh that, it's like when a lady comes down and she's like, there's my little That's dead such mouse. A good point. That's like, such a good it's point. Like, just, yell, McG. McG! <laughs> get him off of here! <laughs> I get this. Like, what? Uh, what are you even asking for you, here? You know what I want? I want a Comic-Con to come, <laughs> and I want the guy yeah. who got yelled at. Well, I want that in to just happen years. in general. Yeah, exactly. But I want, I want the guy who got yelled at to be, like, signing autographs. And he's like, fuck you pay from the Nirvana t-shirt. Yeah. No, it, I know. I'm the guy enough. that... Uh, yeah, I've seen McG <laughs> and uh, Christian Bale yelled at. No, but wouldn't that be a funny thing? Is then you go and then it's like he gets you get the photo ops and it's you like yelling at him and he's like cowering, <laughs> holding holding a that's light. The picture, <laughs> right? That's the that'd be wonderful. Like, people dress like Batman, screaming at <laughs> so him. You could scream at him. That would be amazing. Hey, if would you? Okay, if you were going, sound to like he was a very good lighting at guy this guy. guy. If you're going to go scream at this yeah, guy at Comic-Con, I'm on my way. would you dress as Batman? Mm -hmm. Would you dress as Bruce Wayne? Or would you just dress as Christian Bale? I would dress like would Christian Bale in The Machinist. Bale. Yeah. Because that like sk like skinny underfed me is the least happy me. Oh, yeah. That's the one where that's I'm going to That's going to really yell. Yeah, that's what one's going to yell. Yeah. Mm. Like, hey, maybe you could get the pizza scraper and get me the fuck up here and take me somewhere to eat, motherfucker. Yeah. I want a hamburger! <laughs> Make sure you get me a hamburger! Give me a fucking hamburger! Yeah, that's when you should oh. really have been angry. Man, remember when I was making fun of, like, things being, like, not properly dated, so I just started talking about something that came out from Terminator? <laughs> like, <laughs> what, God, what was the name of Terminator? Uh, was Terminator it Evolution? Genesis. No, that wasn't Genesis. Evolution. Yeah, Revel, now there was a Revel, Terminator Revel, Revolution. Come on, Revelflation. Revelflation. Mass inflation. Yeah, exactly. In, yeah, oh fuck, they're pissed. Well, there was Sky an inflation. Yeah, there was an inflation of rebels thanks <laughs> yeah. to uh, John Connor. So of course, I saw just the very beginning of Genesis, and I saw the guy they had playing John Connor, and he had all these like, crazy scars all over him. I'm like, yep, not interested. That's the dude. He lost me. That guy was in. That was the dude that was in. In, uh, the new Pet Cemetery. Yeah, and I like him. And I don't that have... mountain movie that did no business with yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal and him. What's the name of that movie? Oh, it, it, people it climb the mountain. Yeah, something. people got really bummed out about that mountain movie with Jake Gyllenhaal because it wasn't like his last mountain movie. So <laughs> <laughs> last one, you last one, Chief Ledger spit on his dick. This yeah, one, like, you're just like going up a mountain. Uh, that was like a hill. bullshit. What? Oh no, it was Brokeback mountain. mountain. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't fuck that guy in the ass at all in the new one. Also, the what mountain they race. really had to climb was getting around uh, their current heterosexual marriages. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, that was the real mountain. That was the thing. It was more like a meadow. Speaking of getting around a mountain, holy fuck. No, this isn't going to work. Uh, <laughs> Amazon right now has that world's toughest race, that eco challenge in Fiji. Yeah. Holy fuck, man. That is a... That is a track. That what is, is it? We watched. It's uh, if the, the show. Sh the show was produced by like the Survivor producers, but it's not a reality show. It's just a document of this race through Fiji. It's like 167 kilometers or something like that. Okay. No, it's even longer than that. Now that I'm saying it. it's it's a lot. But you have to like. There's portions of it where like you're on like an outrigger canoe for like 40 kilometers out in the ocean. And then you're like, you have to like traverse, like these people were traversing this bit of river and it was only like, it was 55 degrees Fahrenheit and like they were getting hypothermia and like the one guy was shaking so bad, like legit, you thought he was going to die. Dear Lord. And then this one guy, he fell at one point and he cracked open his leg and they didn't have anything. They're in the middle of nowhere. You can only like at certain checkpoints and camps get medical attention. And you don't get, you don't necessarily have to get pulled from the race. Some things you do. One guy fell and cracked his head really good, and so he had, to, he ended up having to, uh, he he got a concussion, so he pulled himself out. Oh my god! And uh, 
these guys what got, is this called? It's called uh, it's called World's Toughest Race. It's this is like the new one on NBC or something. No, it's or? on Amazon. Uh, all the episodes are up there now, and uh, Bear Grylls hosts it. Of but, course, it's that but, fucking guy. But it's basically he's laughing. He's like, I never would have cracked my head up. With I know, that. right? No, he's actually. But he, it would have eaten his brains if but, he was next to me. And he did no, it. you know what? He's like an encouragement genie on that because it's not <clears> like he's. He, he can't really interact with people because they're all over the place. Like the people who won were days be like, ahead of like other the people. Bears gorillas drone yeah. comes in with a camera with his face yeah. and he's like, get up. So what you just mm-hmm. smacked your head open, get up. Mm-hmm. Like in that, yeah. uh, like in that one, on oh, that would be amazing. Where I'm like, Hey, maybe I'll fall off the cliff. Maybe I won't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hear what you're saying. Like, Hey, the only way you could grab onto my penis. I'm like, I'm not going to grab onto your piece. Then I fall to my death. Yeah. I should grab his penis. <laughs> I regret it every time. Yeah, every but fucking time. <laughs> it's always the second option, too, yeah. which is I'm really like, what weird. What the fuck? It's like, we're in an outhouse right now. <laughs> Grab there, on. Come on. <laughs> but, um, no, but <laughs> it's... Let's lift the paper. Yeah. Grab on my what, penis. Why like, with like, my penis? What? <laughs> my son today, I actually said, uh, somebody, you know, somebody, uh, we were at Walmart, and they were like, do you want to uh, donate to uh, McMaster Children's Hospital? And I was like, yeah, I'll donate a couple bucks. So we did that. And I'm like, Reese, that's where you had your surgery done. And he goes, oh, my penis surgery. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, it was. Yeah, All so right. Why? Why Catch be you? ashamed? That's I know. And, but he just yelled it out. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, that penis surgery. I had. Penis surgery. Yeah, fucking A. Yeah. Why not? See, he's but, a kid. He doesn't care. Yeah. No, but it's. He probably would have whipped it. Look at my yeah. penis surgery. Look at this. Mm-hmm. This is what they did right here. Yeah. You're like, oh, great, but, kid. I'm going to jail now. Thanks I know. for showing me your penis. <laughs> <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> but uh, this this is three strikes for me yeah, now, exactly. buddy. Exactly. Uh, but the governor in California. Yeah. No, but the. Uh, the show is really something else. I I highly recommend it. These people and like there's a lot of interesting ones. Like there was a guy out there who um he'd been running with this group for like thirty years doing these eco challenge races. Like they've been all over the world doing them, blah blah blah. And uh they were running without him for a good reason, but they're all in their 60s now, and it was four people ranging from, like, 62 to 68 running this thing, and I'm, like, impressed as shit. But the guy who wasn't with them anymore has Alzheimer's, and his son wanted to run with him, so it was, like, his last adventure with his dad, and he went, and it was like, oh, God. Swatted off my fucking eyes up. No. He had no idea where he was. Well, and the the one guy, the guy from the other team, the guy from the other team said that they used to joke together, like, if they ever got like that and got dementia or whatever, it's like, leave me out in the woods this is where i was happy and he's like and he starts crying he's like he's like now it's here. really be what that's what i say about my mm-hmm. own like uh mm-hmm. you know like like i'm gonna write into my obituary thing yeah. that like i'm a super old yeah just throw me into like a pit of tigers yeah in the moment uh-huh. i'll be like what the fuck is happening why is this happening no, but, but me the me now will yeah. be laughing yeah like you're being ripped apart by tigers you look at you stupid old man <laughs> exactly what say you but, ow, me, ow. but yeah. me in that moment is like oh god yeah. why yeah, yeah, <laughs> why, why did you do this to me younger <laughs> yeah, exactly. me uh no but the no but it no, was i wish that yeah. that would be as, yeah. i would be as lit that's the only thing i remembered <laughs> that i did this to me yeah. everything else i'm like i'm looking at a tiger that's eating me i'm like you look like a son i once had <laughs> <laughs> Oi. Uh, you turn into a real old Jew. <laughs> <I> know, <right? laughs> but um no, but the guy the guy was just like destroyed because that was just a joke they used to have, right? right. And, and then it's like it's the and now it's a real uh, thing and he's like and he's like I could, he's like, what am I supposed to do? Like he's like, I don't know what to do. I hear but ya. There was the first ever fully uh, African American team because that just didn't exist because they're smart enough to not go out to fucking Fiji and race through all of it, um, <laughs> except this time apparently. Right. And but there were a lot of there was a lot of really interesting ones in there. And they it's, can't let you die or something. Like come on, they, I don't know what that anybody's died, like? but severe severe in- injuries and like like I said, like well, you the, signed a waiver. That's yeah. for damn sure a waiver. Oh, that's yeah. probably like a phone yep. book thick. Oh yeah, Gu- guaranteed. Uh-huh. It's like when I but, used to watch Survivor, like, yeah, oh, they show these like yeah. secondary shots of like snakes and things. Yeah. And I'm like, man, they're out there, but well, like, well, and, like on, they're not going to let you starve yeah. to death for yeah. fuck's sake. What if you're like, I didn't win anything. Yeah. It's been 20 days. Yeah. I'm dying. Yeah, well, if you, you got, would have to feed, they me. would med- no, they would medically remove you before they fed you. Then they'd feed you after you've been removed. Oh fuck! Just give me but, some chicken. Because that happened in um, that's that. Have you ever seen that alone? 
it's I think so. It's on history, and it's basically you are out. It's yes. it's it's like Survivor, but nobody Survivor lives. Survivor man. Yeah, but well, it's like nobody no, in, no, in that it's a it's a competition. It's like the same number of people, but nobody is a, nobody interacts with anybody else. They live completely alone. Hence and when the name and people of the show. and everybody takes themselves out of the game when they can't do it anymore or something. They like I'm done. Get me out of here. Yeah, like I'm done. And, yeah. and any number of reasons, one guy burnt down his uh, his shelter. And he's like, well, that's it for me. Like by accident? Yeah. Well, because they have to literally have a fire going in their shelter because it was the Arctic. Damn. And it was like, so it's like, if I don't do that, I'll die. He's like, and if, if, I'm done. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. die. Get, get me out of here. And yeah. then one girl got um, frostbite and then it started to spread. So she had to ditch. And like, Jesus. and then one guy, one guy decided to take himself out. He's like, I'm going to take myself out. And then right when he made that, because they have like a satellite phone to make that call. And right when he did it, his thing caught his... Uh, place caught fire and he was like crap so he got everything he could he like even got because he's you're your own videographer like there's no yeah, like there's less, literally nobody with like you buddy and survivor whatever, yeah man. yeah so it's literally he's got like they've got like a gopro or god knows what they've got and they just set it up somewhere and then they yeah. do their stuff and so he was grabbing all the tapes and batteries and like throwing them out into the thing but the thing was they couldn't get to him like quickly it's not like they're around the corner to yeah, grab yeah. Him. they could have like chopper in or boat in or whatever and it was the middle of the night so he had to keep that fire going to keep himself warm so he didn't die waiting Jesus. for Jesus. So like, but then you've got guys who look like they're just built for it. One guy, he like had, he, you're allowed to bring like certain survivors. Do you think that you, if you're out yeah. there, that they're going to like have somebody on call? Yeah. Well, they are on call, but they can only, but they're on yeah. call. It's going to be like the yeah. morning, but they got it. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it, it's going to take some time. Christ. And then there's, um, the, the one guy at the very like beginning, uh, he had his knife because you're allowed to bring some survival tools and he's just like oh there's a muskox murder he like stabbed it to death and then he he basically ate that the entire time he was there so he used and he used all of it it showed him like pull, it showed him like pulling out the Fucking eyes and, does that guy like, win he won Fucking right, he won. He, he earned. He that. killed something but, and lived inside of it. Well, <laughs> pretty and much. slowly ate it from the inside mm -hmm. out while it was alive. Yeah, you damn right. He deserves to live he and was, win. He was a parasite. That poor god, um, geez, that poor but, animal. Oh, but god. yeah, it was. I um, thought it was pregnant for like a month. Yeah. Oh. But that's the thing, and it's something I've never really thought about because it showed people like they were trapping rabbits like crazy, but they were still technically starving to death because rabbits have no fat on them. And fat is what you need when you're yep. out in the Arctic. So it was like, you know, the people make fun of like all oh, the whale blubber or whatever. It's like, no, that's, they die otherwise. Oh, fuck yeah. So that's why, like, so that's why people were trying to like, they're trying to, their damnedest to catch fish and people who are catching fish are like, you know, making headway. This guy was you like. You think that I look like this on purpose? Yeah. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> out there, I will chop my own belly off <laughs> and I will fucking Eat it. <laughs> and then it just slowly comes right back. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's a circle of life. I'm unkillable. It's like Fuck Wolverine you. if he ate his wounds. Yeah. I like that. Well, he too. didn't even need to eat his own wounds. It'll just yeah. happen. He just licks them. Like, oh my God. I oh, saw this girl. The on face Tinder. you just gave me just this freaked me the picture fuck out. on Tinder what? was her licking her own scab on her leg. She was like totally bent and she was like, lick. I was like, dear. I was like, I don't know what this is doing to me right now, but yeah. it's definitely not turning me on. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's the thing. You've got two. You can only swipe. Which way is the proper way? Well, like, I want them. Right. Okay. Swiping right. That sounds... Wow. Nice. Hey, he winked at me when he said that. So I <laughs> pretended that he's not like a fucking Tinder pimp. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm, right. I'm running the accounts of all the ladies. <laughs> no. Um... What? I don't know. I, I made her do that shit. I like but, that. No, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you're their account, uh, yeah. like whatever manager. There's a thing you can like go on. You, do you can legit go on like Fiverr and stuff like that and pay somebody to like write your Tinder account. <laughs> uh, like, 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 like why? But I don't know. It's so amazing. It's, it's just like a, mine's just a picture. I'm uninteresting and I need it's a leg a up. Picture. Dude, but, I actually uh, saw. Yeah. Full on naked girls. And I, I saw like, one of those once. Shit. I was like, <laughs> I was like, they're it's just full naked. And then yeah. suddenly when you don't speak to them, they're like, hey, yeah. talk to me on this. Then they're gone. Yeah. Like they've erased themselves. Oh, what they gave them a, I don't know. What did they give you? Like a website or something? Yeah. Like, oh, like, oh, they me on this. But, but the yeah, thing that I can still see them on Tinder totally yeah. naked. Yeah. That's weird. It was so fucked. That's, I think what that is, is that's like, 
bots or whatever making or something, like but making how do profiles. They even... I, I think they're making the profiles really fast because like it doesn't even have the photo doesn't even have time to go through like moderators right, or like whatever. There. And then they've pulled it before they even get a chance yeah. to get it pulled before it could be yanked. So that's probably what's happening. Because I had a picture <laughs> on there. That <laughs> Literally, was totally... before Look. it could be yanked. Uh, Tom I was f- looking at yanking, <laughs> yanking pictures and before it could be yanked, before it, it was could gone. even yank. <laughs> yeah, it was yanked. Yeah. And then I listened to Weirdo Yankovic. <laughs> Soft. Mm. Yeah, it was the, uh, the, the it was the grunge night. polka from <laughs> Alapalooza. <laughs> Black hole sun, won't you come? Hey, hey, and wash away the rain. <laughs> That's legitimately a part of the grunge polka. I know, I love it. Uh, Fucking right. Uh, won't you come? Won't you come? <laughs> or Black hole sun? Black hole sun? Uh, those are always, I actually really uh, like this because those are always like a weird stamp in time. I, I agree. Yeah, I, I fucking fucking right. I'd love to see Weird Al. Fucking right. Just I'll on the street. Weird Al, call us, call us Weird Al. I'll reach out. I'm gonna legit yeah. reach, reach out. I'm gonna try and get Weird Al to be on the show. Fucking a. And then he'll go. Oh, do you want to talk about UHF? No, we already did that. We're gonna have to pick something else. <laughs> we'll have to pick. I did. Re- will. I He's did reach out to somebody. I I have I have hopes. Not high hopes, but I have hopes. I reached out to somebody for hopes for a comedy. General. That uh, who directed a comedy that we like, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get him on the show. What comedy? Uh, we'll talk about that later. Okay, great. I don't want to. I, okay, I, no, I don't want to put the pressure on the show. Uh, all right, let's watch the movie. All right. Okay. So we are going. Uh, this. I'm ending this episode so we can start that episode. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, we're about to record what's going to be our season premiere. We've actually got another one. We still have. I'll, I'll tell you right now. We recorded Garbage Pail Kids, and I'm holding it off. <laughs> I'm just like. Well, because we recorded and I was going to put it out, and then we got the interview with um, Connor and Patrick. So I, I, I dare so you. I pushed, <clears throat> so I pushed it back, and then I'm like, no, that's not good enough to be the season premiere. No, so I, I agree. Like, so I was, agree. I fucking totally agree. So it's it keeps getting It'll pushed back, and as It'll long be a as random weird. Well, we did that with uh, Dark Crystal too. We recorded that, and then like it didn't come out for like six months. <laughs> Pee Wee's uh, Big Adventure also. It was that's like right. it was like the fourth movie we did, and I think it was like episode twenty. That's right. So, um, so yeah. So we're gonna wrap this one up. Uh, oh, the one big thing I didn't talk about on here. Uh, we are now part of the streaming community. Sweet. And we are on Twitch and YouTube, and it'll also go to, out to Periscope slash Twitter at the same time. Uh, so you can uh, check us out. Uh, keep an eye on uh, Miscast Podcast on Twitter, and you'll see when uh, those things are coming up. Or follow us on Twitch. At, uh, that's just Miscast Commentary, uh, twitch.tv slash Miscast Commentary. And you can... Uh, it doesn't matter what you turn. It's not going to work. Uh, it's I, I know what the problem is. I'll fix it. Um, so, yeah, you go check us out there and follow us. Uh, there's a few streams on there right now. I'm currently streaming myself uh, the old uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and doing that. And we're going to do some, I, I think, our mini episodes as we get back into doing those. Wait, we'll you're put streaming them... yourself playing a game? Yeah, that's what I showed you before. I want to I want to play Witcher 3. We can set that up. You gotta Fuck bring. That. You gotta bring your shit here. Oh, I was thinking. Well, I was thinking. House. Yeah, I was thinking. Uh, well, because I have to bring literally everything. You just there. watch me play with myself. There you go. Um, I was thinking. See what it is. Yeah, I know. But I was no. I was gonna say, uh, like, if you want to do Splatoon here or something like that, you could. Oh, they'll kill me. I don't know. Oh my god, I haven't played mm-hmm. in forever, and I just played recently. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Well, well, I'll fuck you guys up. Fuck them. Fuck them. All right, we'll figure all that out later. Yeah, we um, will. So anyways, so go check us out there. We want to get those followers. We want to get that affiliate money, yo. Get... <laughs> Finger thing means the money. Yeah, no. <laughs> I can't even imagine how little that would be for us at this juncture. Because there's like, no, but you get like, you know the people who have like hundreds of thousands of followers and there's people who do this thing, they subscribe. Yeah. And it's literally a monthly that's pay insanity. that comes into people. It's like it's like, like you feel PewDiePie. Like, Take my money, PewDiePie. Yeah, let but, me hear what you think. Like what? But you know what though? Like let there's so much you play a video yeah. game. But what's really interesting, and I'm gonna give a little shout out here to the guy who I was watching to get everything up and running. He because he does all his YouTube shit and that. Uh, Harris Heller, who does Alpha Gaming on YouTube and is on. Uh, on Twitch as just Harris Heller. And I was watching him and doing all that shit. And I was just, and I'm seeing it. I can see how he's like monetizing and doing these things. And I'm like, and he helps a lot of like young starting streamers. We're a couple of old dudes. That's who are like, just what I was just about to say. Literally. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah. But 
The fact that I don't get it means that I'm not making shit tons of money while people watch me playing video games. Yep. And These you, people are making tons of money. Yeah. I can't take it away <laughs> from them. Oh, and the story I wanted I, to tell. I'm just like, I wish I could do that. I, you yeah. know, the, 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 I, I wish I got yeah. it. I'm just a fucking old caveman. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. And I'm, so I'm like, I'm, I'm playing around and having fun. And I think that we can find our place there. Maybe not the millions of dollars kind of place, but I think we could find a place there. Like hundreds? Maybe. Like two hundreds? I tell you, if... Two hundreds of dollars? If we made enough money to pay for our shit, I'm happy. Like toilet paper. Yes. Oh my God, yeah. I wish. Right? Holy... Yeah, the amount Todd goes through toilet paper? Fuck! But that's all That's all I want. I want I want to break even. That's it. And we're trying to actually get a studio right now, so that's... That would be a pretty big deal. But uh, so go go follow us on there and help us towards that. Uh, And no, but the story I wanted to tell, too. So I was watching I I was watching the one guy, but then I came across this one guy who was playing Fall Guys. You'll see I did one stream of Fall Guys as well. Uh, And he was this dude who was so broed out and he's like he like really muscular wearing a tank top and he has this like he's got like the hat on and he's like he's like hey bro you think i complain too much about myself you don't even make the kind of money i do bro look at let's play fall guys let's go let's go and he's screaming i i don't know who he was he was just he was screaming and he He was just like he was so crazy broed out and i'm just i'm laughing so hard did like 15 lines of coke and then started to just fucking show up but like think about what like fall guys and the look of fall guys it's very cartoony it's very much like watching like playing like mario party yes as far as like all the mini games and stuff like like that like a like a crash bandicoot yeah mario kind of thing but but it has that but now imagine like some guy freaking yeah on roids yeah and and just and just like come on i'm playing i'm making games <laughs> like it's just like oh god it was so funny that's that's all i have to say about that but anyways i would lo- I, we would love it if if you are on twitch uh come out and follow us if you're on youtube follow us on there subscribe well subscribe it doesn't cost money to subscribe on there i've been twitching um, for years but yeah no i know that's no why i did me for that. that's why i did this so it kind of caught up to you i'm like nobody pays me for that yeah, i'm catching up to the todd cunt. brand uh, <laughs> bitch cunt anyways fuck mom Enough of, enough about Catherine Hellman and who's the boss. <laughs> no, um, I don't. I, I only say that because I just I saw a, I, I saw an old poster for a movie that was I can't even remember what it was now. It had John Cleese, Michael Palin, but it wasn't a Monty Python movie. And it's, Catherine Hellman and uh, it was a. It's not. It's a ship. It's, it's, oh my god! It's oh, you're killing me. It's not a fish called Wanda. No, it's it's not. Uh, there was another one. Fierce creatures. No, it's not fierce creatures. No, fierce creature. no, no. Exactly this is this takes place on like a pirate ship or something. Talking about. God damn it! Uh, I'm just. I'm. I am. Ah, it's, you're killing me. You're fucking killing me. All right, we're trying this. Time Bandits. Time Bandits. That's a Gilliam movie. Yeah. That's a, that movie's fucking awesome. Yeah. You don't even, I don't even have to know. It's like, it's a Gilliam movie? I'm in. Terry, yep. And it has that whole beginning mm-hmm. part where they're like traveling through and it's like all these businessmen. And there's yeah. like, like uh, oh, awesome movie. With Time Catherine Bandits. Hellman is there. And, and uh, De Niro's in it. Oh, nice. All right. So... Usual spiel now. We're going to add Twitch to it, though. Follow us on Twitch with Miscast Commentary. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Miscast Podcast. I'm at JK Finley. Todd's at Miscast Todd. Follow us on Instagram at Miscast Commentary. And go to the website, MiscastCommentary.com. Email us, podcast at MiscastCommentary.com. All those good things. All right. So this was a bonus that we said would be quick. And as usual, it's 45 minutes. Fuck it. Um, we will catch you guys on the flippity flop later flop flop this has been miscast commentary with your hosts joe finley and todd murray executive producer joe finley be sure to like comment and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast miscast commentary is a miscast media production